Hello guys, my bestest friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I thought I would talk about how to draw a chair and how to perform a chair flip, something we all gotta go over in organic chemistry. By the way, before I get into this video, please make sure to leave a like, comment, save, and or subscribe to my channel if you like my content, and leave a comment down in the comment box down below about what you want me to cover next. All right, so let's say we're given the following structure. I recommend always starting off by labeling all the carbons. Carbon one, two, three, four, five, six. This is arbitrary, okay? I could have started at any carbon. So then, if we wanna draw a right-handed chair first, if you draw a straight line in between the two kinks in the chair, a right-handed chair will have an indent on the right-hand side of this center line. Whereas a left-handed chair will have an indent on the left hand side in the back. So that's the difference between a right handed chair and a left handed chair. This would be a right handed chair and a left handed chair. And I usually always draw the right chair first. And then I flip to the left chair. Starting at this corner, once again, it is arbitrary. This is just how I like to do this, but you could start counting one there, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna start counting one here. One, two, three, four, five, six on the chair. Then I will draw ups and downs on numbers one, three, four, and six. So starting at one, you draw up, three, you draw up, on four, you're gonna draw down, down. So on one and three, you're gonna draw up, up, and then on four and six, you draw down, down. Then you must draw on your equatorial bonds. So down, down, and then up, up, so you see it's opposite. And then all you have to do is fill in the bonds on two and five. On two, you're gonna go down, up, and then on five, it's going to be up, down. Back on your original structure, up is equal to wedge and down is equal to dash. Now, when I say up wedge, this up could be axial up or equatorial up. Let's start at the bromine. And bromine, we say, is arbitrarily on carbon one. So bromine is on a wedge. So hence, it's in the up position. So I go to carbon number one. I say, where do I put the bromine? Well, this one, if I picture this as the sky, and this as the ground, this bond, if I shoot an arrow up, oh, it's, it's shooting up, this is up. If I draw an arrow at the end of that bond, well, this is shooting down towards the ground. So this would be the up towards the sky bond. So my bromine would go there. My other bond is just a hydrogen. So then on carbon number two, I have a CH3 group in the down position. So down is dash. Which bond is the down position? We'll draw an arrow. This one would be pointing up towards the sky eventually. This arrow would be pointing down towards the ground, so down. So my CH3 group would be going down, and then the up bond would be an H. On carbon number three, we have two H's, doesn't matter. On carbon number four, we have a dash with a chlorine, so this would be the down position. So draw your little arrows. Well, this arrow points to the up, so it's not that one. So this would be axial down, because the arrow head would be pointing down on the down bond, so chlorine. And this would be an H up. And then on five and six, these are all hydrogens. So you can just draw your little hydrogens. So now to do a chair flip, because that's how you draw your right-handed chair. Using the same labeling that you did in the right-handed chair, I'm gonna move all the numbers over once clockwise. So one was initially here in the left-handed chair, one is going to be there. Two will be there, three, four, Five, six. See, once again, I'm labeling in the clockwise direction. Nothing changed. But now, all the bonds go in in the same fashion. So draw on all my bonds that are on the chair. So now, bromine was initially on carbon one. And after the flip, it will still be on carbon one. This is why I like to do it this way. So now, up stays up, down stays down. So now you have to ask, which is the up bond? So put your arrowheads on. Which arrowhead is pointed towards the sky? Well, if you continue this line out, this one would be up towards the sky if you continue this line. That would be down towards the ground. So hence, this is your up bond. So the bromine is going to go on the up equatorial. The summary for this would be the bromine, if we looked at it, and the initial one, the bromine, was up axial, and then after the chair flip, the bromine was up equatorial. So in a chair flip, up stays up, 
and axial switches to equatorial. So then my hydrogen would be on the down bond, but now it would be down axial rather than down equatorial. So then on carbon number two, we got the CH3 that was down before, so draw your arrowheads in. Which one, if we continue that line, goes down towards the ground, well, it's going to be that guy. So the CH3 group will be down equatorial. CH3. I didn't draw it in because if I didn't even draw this in, the CH3 group, this would be a CH3. But I could draw this in if I felt like it, it would be the same thing. CH3, and then the H would be up. So then in the original structure, we can see the CH3 was down axial, but now it's just down equatorial. So down stays down. Axial, switch to equatorial. Equatorial, switch to axial. So then on number three, we just have the two hydrogens, so we can just fill this in again. On number four, we have a chlorine in the down position, so which bond is down? Continue your line. Oh, that's up towards the sky, so it has to be the other one. So the chlorine would be on this down bond, down equatorial. So it switched from down axial to down equatorial. So then on carbon five and six, oh, this is just hydrogen, so H, 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 H. Bada bing, bada boom. This would be your left and right handed chairs. And let me know if you guys would like me to, to do some other examples on this, but this is pretty much the gist of it. Um, yeah, make sure to leave a like, comment, save, or subscribe to my channel. And let me know down in the comment section below what video you would like for me to cover next. Have a great night.